back. All you Palm Springs point of viewers, oh, happy oh, holidays. Oh. I don't know who this guy. Oh, it's Santa. <laughs> I'm back, Claudia. I'm back. Well, I've been, been away from you too far, but too long. Forever, but you know how busy Santa is this time of Very year. Well, he's busy all the time, aren't you, Sa Conrad? Santa is busy. We are busy. The desert is busy. There are a lot of things happening from this point forward for the next several months. There's a lot Exactly. Happening. We could go on and on and on about all the things we have done and are doing, but we let's just Cut right let's to the focus, chase. Let's focus. Let's focus. Yeah, we are have a very special feature today um, on U.S. Modernists, which is a mo during Modernism Week, but a little bit of an alternative, and we're going to tell you all about that. Conrad, you've been to the theater. I've been to the theater. You've seen some great works over at oh, CV, CV Rep, Rep exactly. and we've got something to talk about at the Cultural Center here, and more events during Modernism Week. So Claudia, we're going to jump a little ahead to modernism, and you just did a Zoom with an individual from the U.S. Modernist. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, U.S. Modernist is so interesting, and Michaela O'Connor Abrams is going to join us. We had a great interview. Mm. It's uh, basically, to, in a nutshell, during Modernism Week, there are major home tours that U.S. Modernist sponsors, mm. house parties, and perhaps you're looking to buy an iconic modernism home here in the desert. Why Let's have not? a look. Why I know. Look? Let's look. Well, 2024 is almost upon us. And Let's talk modernism. Let's talk Modernism Week 2024. We are so excited to have here today a very special woman who is representing U.S. modernist, which is doing a number of home tours, during modernism and cocktail parties. She is the chief advancement officer of Mocha Plus. Michaela O'Connor Abrams is here with us. We're really excited to have you, Michaela. Welcome. Thank you so much, Claudia. It's a pleasure to be here. I think everything is coming under for modernism as every, everything is coming under this title of Matapalooza. That kind of says it all. Tell us a little bit about Matapalooza. All right. So Matapalooza is the brand that we use under U.S. Modernist when we travel around the country and bring together uh, modern uh, enthusiasts and people who are really eager to see these incredible homes, not always by Starkitects, by the way, but homes that we have uncovered uh, most of all are on our website, uh, which has 5 million pages and more than 22,000 homes. Uh, 4,000 of which are in the desert. So Montepulosa. Really? Yes. So coming to Palm Springs in February, um, we are going to show three significant uh, homes, one of which has not been shown uh, on tour in the desert before that we're very, very excited about, which we'll, I know, explore. But um, essentially, it's Montepulosa is a gathering of our community of people who absolutely love, support, and want to preserve modernist architecture. Well, many of our viewers are of that ilk. So can you give us a little more details about the homes, the cocktail party parties, and when they are? And we all know how to get tickets. Yeah, actually, the way you'll get tickets is usmodernist.org. And okay. it's under Montapalooza, and you can buy all of them or any one of them. And it's um, an easy way to make sure that you will enjoy these homes, not only for the tours, but the cocktail parties should you choose. So um, it's the 17th through the 20th. We have the uh, Kirk Douglas estate, which we have mm. been privileged to have exclusively uh, had on tour. And the owners love that. who also are amazing preservationists. Uh, have really given us the great benefit and good fortune of being able to show people this home, uh, a Donald Wexler, uh, extraordinary home that the current owners have done uh, an amazing job. Brand new in 2018, new kitchen, uh, extending terrazzo floors, um, really uh, Diane Bald and Michael Budman who own this home are uh, she is actually an architect by education and her taste is impeccable. And when buying this, and this is not the only modernist gem that they own, she really uh, took great care and excruciating detail to make it what it should be. They're still close to the Douglas family and, and uh, were 
uh, I'm told were that the Douglas family was thrilled with the work oh, Diane did. So amazing. That will be uh, on tour and also on a separate evening on the 19th, which you'll see on the Montepalooza calendar, the cocktail party there. We also Fabulous. have uh, the Christopher Kennedy home, his home, uh, right not far from you. He has been a huge supporter of modernism and preservation for uh, a very, very long time. And I have known Christopher a long time since I was the CEO of Dwell when I first met him. And so I, I was really pleased when he said, why don't we work together on this? So we will have a tour of Christopher's home and a cocktail party there. And then Fabulous. the, the um, amazing good fortune to be able to show the Max Polevsky home, uh, Craig Elwood's only uh, home in the desert. And it is absolutely a stunning example of Elwood's work. And I understand too, that at the modernism show and sale, your radio, you have a radio broadcast, right? With live interviews or at the, tell us a little bit about that briefly. So we did in the fall uh, on the mm -hmm. show floor and interviewed five um, pretty extraordinary people. Um, and you will be able to see all those online. We're doing 10 more in February, but instead we'll be broadcasting from a different location which we are going to announce very soon that I think will be a very nice surprise. Great, thank you so much. Michaela O'Connor Abrams with US Modernist. Get your tickets. Thank you very much. I don't know about you, Claudia, but I look forward to getting some tickets to that event. It's gonna be oh, fun. Oh, well, there's so many. I mean, those home tours are going to be amazing. I'd love to get inside the homes. And speaking <laughs> of tickets, you said tickets. Yes. We've got some, we had some theater tickets this week and let's hear about, you were over at CV Rep over again, CV, right? That, that's right. So we were very fortunate to go back to the CV Rep again for a new work that they have that this actually was their final weekend. It's called Summer Sessions with the Bones Brigade. Very, very interesting. Let's take a look. Palm Springs point of view is once again, very happy to be here at the CV Rep in Cathedral City. And I'm joined here by the executive artistic director Adam Kirsten, how's that? That's I great. That's great. That's a, so it's a lot <laughs> to talk a, about. I know, right? it's too big a title. For too big, <laughs> exactly. But not only is he the uh, executive artistic director, but he is also the director of the play we're going to see today, which is actually a new play here for the desert, which is very rare, I think. Mm -hmm. And the name of the play, of course, is called Summer Sessions with the Bones Brigade. Tell us about how did this play come here to the CV River? It's, it's right. rare to get a new piece of, piece of work. Right. And this is a world premiere, as you said. and. and um, it's, uh, it's a challenge creating and producing new works, but last year when I came on board, I knew that I wanted to create a new works development program where Love that it. would be the goal, to really go out and find works and create a pipeline for the generation of new works, bringing in creatives, writers, producers, talent, actors, directors to Coachella Valley and, and to devise those works here. So these are works that have never been, had any readings or any type of production before. And, and the writer of this is who? Kirby Fields. And he, he's, I believe he's out of New York? He's from New York, yeah. And we brought him in for the reading last year in March, and then we brought him back for the rehearsal process, which was only two weeks. Oh, I don't see how you do it. Tell us a little bit, for folks who missed this one, uh, what is the story behind this one. That's a great question. The story is, one of the big stories is a culture that connects six young people and this group is connected through skateboarding and they build and skate on a half pipe. Uh, in the middle of the stage. And I heard it's on the stage. That's when, <laughs> when, when I saw that, I, I want to come see that. Whatever that is, I want to see that on the that stage. That in itself was a challenge. <laughs> but the play itself is about them dealing with coming of age and growing up and their relationships. And, and one of them mysteriously goes missing. And then understanding and dealing with the emotions that come along with that are really the core of the play. And it's just amazingly and beautifully performed and written. And that's why we, we selected it. And this is all youth cast, is that correct? They all are, are yes, they're all cast uh, within the, the age range of the characters they're playing, which are 15 to 17. Today we're going to watch, we're, we're going to see the last two shows. Mm -hmm. It has been here for, at Super Rep for how long now? Two weeks. Two it weeks. had a two week run. Um, we considered extending it, but then we run bump up into the December 25th right. holiday mm -hmm. and that. And I'm, I'm guessing it was a success. And so is there a future for this somewhere else? Do you know? That's the, that's the goal. That's the other goal of the program, Comrade, is that we, we don't want it just to be something that we produce for a one-time deal here. We really want to uh, see that it has an opportunity to go out and live on and get 
uh, get showings and opportunities for other people around the country and around the world to see the new works that we're creating and developing. This is the last weekend for this uh, production. The next one is Cabaret, am I correct? Yes. And tell us quickly a little bit about that. Cabaret is something you are not going to want to miss because the minute you step into the playhouse, you will be transported to 1919 Germany. And then as you walk through the lobby and into the actual theater, you will go through a timeline of information that will take you up to 1936 Germany, Berlin, when the play begins. Love it, love it, so love it. So it's gonna ask the question, what would you do? And we're gonna try and transport you and put you in that environment of 1936 I love it. by Mark Germany. Safe to say there are things happening here at CV Rep in Cathedral City and you need to come down and enjoy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Conrad, what Adam Karsten is bringing to CV Rep is just outstanding, mm. outstanding theater. And in this one he does it. He does the directing and you should see the stage of this. Oh. Very, very beautiful. Oh, yeah. so fantastic. Always good. Always great to be over at the CB Rep, and we'll be back there again for some of their next shows yeah. that are coming up. Speaking of shows, Claudia, you this past week were over at the Palm Springs Cultural Center mm -hmm. for a new theater company that's over there doing some very unique work. Tell us about that. Right, the Inner Circle Society. This is the first of a series of plays that they're doing, um, and next week will be even more interesting, but I will tell you, uh, there is a play called Heart. Now, now I'm going to say something. Don't say too much because you saw it already, and I'm seeing it very soon, so okay. I want to know, but let our viewers know a little bit of teaser, okay. how's that? Okay, <laughs> well all I can say is it takes a very horror, horrific twist and something to do with Edgar Allan Poe. Mm, okay. And it's done very differently, not your average just beginning and end and okay, audience. I, like, I love when theater yes. challenges us, so I yes, like that. very right. immersive. That sounds good, all right. Before we say goodbye to this year, I wanna make sure that our folks know that in February, you and Alan have an event coming up during Modernism Week, and the tickets are going fast. Tell us about it. Okay. Uh, okay, we have two shows. So this is in the entertainment category. Beatles and Beyond. Ooh, It'll good. be Alan and myself with, you know them, you love them, the Gand Band. Yes. <laughs> Beatles and Beyond. The music is going to be fantastic. It's an interactive experience. As always, we start with our piano bar, cocktails. We move to the main stage. We've got lots of special guests, singers. Uh, I'm going to be someone you might not recognize, but you'll remember the tune. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. And, Make sure you buy those tickets. Well, you know, Alan is going to be the big surprise of the night on stage. Uh, think of the Beatles and think of how they got there and uh, keep you guessing. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> Make sure you have a warm and joyous time and we will see you in the new year. And remember to always like and, and subscribe. subscribe. Have a good one. Happy bye -bye. New Year.